Today we're looking at the Black Panther Omnibus by ta Coates. What's up guys, BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them, all for your viewing pleasure. If you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. This channel is about comic books, so subscribe if you're into that. Now, today, we're taking a look at this massive omnibus. This is The Black Panther by ta Coates. This is the most recently finished run of Black Panther, um, and it started back in 2016 and ran all the way up through last year after COVID kind of paused the book for a little while. Uh, but this collects a lot of stuff. And this is quite honestly the run that I know the least about um, because when I got into comics in 2019, this run was ongoing and just did not appear to be in any sort of like good jumping on point. So kind of purposefully stayed away from this run. And I was like, I'll catch up on it later after it is all concluded. And here we are with a very nice oversized hardcover collection uh, with cover art by Brian Stelfreeze. This collects Black Panther, the 2016 series, issues 1 through 18, and numbers 166 to 172, which is just going back to legacy numbering. And then they renumbered it again in 2018. We got issues 1 through 25 uh, by ta Coates with a ton of different artists. And we'll get into that in just a second. But I wanted to go ahead and take a look at this because Wakanda Forever is coming out this week. And this is probably the book that's going to look most like what you see on screen, even if the contents of the story don't necessarily match. So uh, let's go ahead and put this down on the table and take a look at the contents. All right, guys, here we are looking at the Black Panther by ta Coates Omnibus. Really, really awesome book. Um, and it's huge. It's huge. It collects a whole lot. So uh, you can see some credits here. You can see the Black Nerd Problems called this the greatest Black Panther run ever executed. I haven't read it, so I can't say that that's true or not. Uh, but this is the story of a king who sought to be a hero, a hero who was reduced to a slave and a slave who advanced into legend. At least that's what the back of the book says. Uh, now this collects the 2016 series of Black Panther issues 1 through 18, 166 to 172, and the renumbered series in 2018, uh, issues 1 through 25. All written by ta Coates, um, with art by a ton of artists, not the least of which being Brian Stelfreeze and Chris Sprouse. Um, and you can see the credits there. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this. Let's take off this hardcover. Yeah, man, take off that jacket. Stay a while. Uh, yeah, take off the dust jacket. But anyway, whoops. Now, on the art board or on the hardcover board, you see a bunch of uh, Black Panther by Brian Stelfries and this nice little design with the tribal print up under it. Very nice, very nice. But let's go ahead and get into this book. Um, now, this is the Black Panther run that was ongoing when I first started reading comics. I gotta say, I love this graphic design. I don't know who did, did the graphic design. It's gotta be in here somewhere. Where are the credits? Logo design by Ryan Hughes. Okay. Come on. All right. Well, until someone says otherwise. I won't just give people. Oh, book designer, Stacey Zucker with Manny Medeiros. So I don't know. I don't know who's the responsible for this design, but hopefully it's them. So anyway, here's an introduction by Brian Stelfries, who is the series artist, at least at the beginning of the run. And then here we are, Black Panther. So this is the cover to issue number one from 2016. I'm not making no qualms about it. I don't even think there was like much of a table of contents, was there? No, this just says what issues we got. There are no corresponding page numbers. So boom, issue number one. Clearly this book is meant to be read as a one sprawling epic and not like issue by issue. Um, but here we go. We got an appearance by Namor. We got a bunch of people just, just tormenting poor T'Challa at the Great Mound. 
Um, and I'm going to breeze through this one because I haven't read it and I'm actually really excited for it. Um, what I will say about this run is that one thing that you'll notice about the art and everything that's built in this run is the technology. The technology in this run is what most resembles what you will eventually see on screen. And it's really interesting. So I was doing, um, I'm filming this right after I filmed my overview of the Black Panther early years omnibus. And this book is very much about Wakanda, at least for the first few story arcs. Um, but anyway, I was talking about just how much Don McGregor laid the groundwork for everything that we know about T'Challa, right? He really, in that jungle action series for those, what, 18 or so issues, really defines what Wakanda is and who T'Challa is and what sort of challenges he faces um, and what he represents, right? Being a Black hero, but being from a sort of I don't know. I wouldn't, I don't know if I call it a segregationist society, like some people were saying, but being from this society that's closed off from everyone else, I guess that's segregation. Black Panther issue seven cover. I have this poster signed by Brian Stelf where he's like, I got a heroes con. But anyway, um, Don McGregor does such a good job of like laying groundwork and laying down threads and seeds that will be picked up later on. And so if Don McGregor laid a bunch of groundwork, then and Crit, uh, Christopher Priest really redefined T'Challa and made him like, you know, epic, right? That's my stand-in word for bad A, but made him like the epic, uh, not to be messed with dude. Then it seems that Coates just really sort of expands on the heart, right? From everything that I've seen, what people have said, right? Like just, dealing with like the emotional weight of being the leader of Wakanda and being the symbol to Wakandans and as well as to black people in the outside world. That seems to be what the heart of this series is all about. Um, and I'm very excited to get into it. Um, I don't know where this is going to end up ranking in Black Panther runs. I don't know if I'm going to end up calling it like the greatest run of all time. But what I will tell you is just thumbing through this, this is my favorite Black Panther art of all the series that I've read. So I've gotten about halfway through Christopher Priest's run. i am just finished the first story arc in Reggie Hudlin's run. I've read quite a few of those jungle action tales as well. I haven't read T'Challa's adventures with the Avengers and some of the other Marvel heroes that you saw in that early years omnibus um, on the channel yesterday. I have this cover up. Um, but through all of those, they all have distinctive art styles. I love the early years art. I love John Romita Jr.'s art in the Who is the Black Panther storyline. I like Marta Shera's art as well. But I think this is like, this modernizes Black Panther's art. Um, this is like what I look for in pretty much any book. And Brian Stelfry is delivers, man. Man, does he deliver. That is a cool dude, by the way. If you ever get to meet him, he's cool. He, um, when I met him, he was like drawing something. I guess he was like on deadline for a commission or something. And it was very like a very quick interaction. And other people were like, hey, we'll handle the transaction and say hey to Brian real quick. <laughs> uh, but he was a cool dude. Um, obviously, like this builds on a lot of different things that were done for or before Coates got into the run, like the relationship between Storm and T'Challa and civil unrest in Wakanda. It seems like what Coates' real mark on this series ends up being is the intergalactic empire of Wakanda, which starts right here in the 2018 issue number one. So I don't know how we end up with Wakanda or T'Challa in space and like really in space, like T'Challa Star Wars. And I don't know how good this stuff is, honestly. I don't know if it's widely revered. It seems like by the end of 
the Intergalactic Empire, people were like, all right, like, let's get T'Challa back in Wakanda. But even this, there are seeds that are sown during this run that are being picked up on right now by John Ridley um, and others and others. One thing that ta Coates' time on this title did was give Black Panther like a lot of reach. Like they threw down prongs everywhere. Shuri got her own series. Killmonger got his own series. There was the Black Panther and the Agents of Wakanda series. There were a lot of different Wakanda based or Wakanda adjacent books going on during this time. In fact, there were so many of them that Marvel released an omnibus called The World of Wakanda so that you could relive all of those moments in an oversized hardcovers as well. And uh, I didn't pick that one up. I didn't have the money for this, the early years and that. So I decided to leave that one on the shelf. Maybe it'll make its way into the collection later on. But yeah, I'm very much intrigued by this, but I can't lie. When I think of Black Panther, why does Storm look like Lil' Kim? But anyway, when I think of Black Panther, what I think of is Black Panther in Wakanda being the sort of folk hero and walking among the people. That's what I am looking forward to about Black Panther. But with all that said, this looks interesting. This looks interesting. I'm not a big cosmic or intergalactic person. So I have a feeling I'm going to enjoy the first half of this book a lot more than the second half. But when you're invested, you're invested. And we'll end up, we'll see how this run ends up. I'm definitely going to have to come back to this one for a review. Um, but you can see there's quite the tonal shift in the intergalactic empire parts. And the art is really cool. But it's definitely different than what we were seeing at the beginning of the run. So I'm going to skip ahead to some extras. And we got variant covers, Larry Stroman, Scotty Young. I love that Scotty Young. Ooh, love that one. So a lot of variants because this honestly had a lot of issues that Isad Ribic, uh, this ended up being the cover to the Black Panther early years omnibus, which is interesting. But anyway, um, yeah, lots of variants. X-Men variant by Jim Lee. They just took that off the trading card, I believe. Yeah, man, a whole lot of variants, a whole lot of extras. This is the standard edition cover variant by Michael Cho. Or excuse me, the direct market edition variant. I bought the standard cover because, you know, I try to support black artists when I can. And Brian Stelfreeze is one of the top ones. So I don't know if he gets extra money depending on which cover is sold, but whatever. Get the royalties either way, my guy. Some process pages of Black Panther chronology. Okay, that's helpful. Okay, so if you wanted to know where to read uh, Black Panther and what stories are essential, that's uh, that's great. And more design pages. And that is the end of the book. So I know I can be long one, but I talk a lot. We did this in 12 minutes. Look, grab this book because, like I said, the Black Panther is an important character, and this adds impressively to his resume, especially when you talk about the technology. Um, Priest added a lot of that, too. The Kamoyo card, the iPhone, basically, uh, Kamoyo beads, all that stuff. But anyway, anyway, grab this book. You, uh, If you want to, you can grab it from our channel sponsor, Organic Price Books. That way you're supporting the channel, um, and you can grab it at a discounted rate. So links in the description down below. If you've read this run, though, let me know what you thought about it. To me, the first half looks a lot more interesting than the second half, but maybe that's just to the naked eye. I'd love to know if you have insight as to what was great about this run. Did it lose you? And if so, where did it lose you? Let me know in the comments down below and stay tuned for a full review whenever I get through this one. I'll see you guys in another video soon. Until then, hope you saw something you liked in this one. If not, hey, that's cool. 
So you can always buy what you like. Just make sure you read what you buy and be nice to others because kindness makes the world go round. Peace.